Welcome back from our reading. We are going to take a few minutes and look back at page 6. The map here shows where hurricanes have happened and how many there were in the United States between 1851 and 2012. The map key on the bottom right has colors that match the colors on the map. Those colors tell us how many hurricanes happened in each area. Each map in the book had a key that could help us understand it. We will use a few of these maps from the book to answer some questions on a new map that you see here. Here we see three different places, North Dakota, Kansas, and South Carolina. We will see if we can help the people in North Dakota, Kansas, and South Carolina prepare for different types of weather. So let's start here just looking on the left side of the screen. You have the map for hurricanes, and on the right side of the screen you have a map to remember where North Dakota, Kansas, and South Carolina are. If you had to guess which place, North Dakota, Kansas, or South Carolina, will really need to be prepared for hurricanes. Remember you can always pause the video if you're not sure and need a couple more seconds. I think looking at the map, we can tell that the people in South Carolina should be prepared for hurricanes. Now let's look at the blizzards map. Take a minute, look over the map, and look at the map on the right side to remind yourself where North Dakota, Kansas, and South Carolina are. Which place will need to prepare for blizzards? When I look at the map, I think we know that people in North Dakota should be prepared for blizzards. Now we'll look back at the lightning strike map. Which place will need to prepare for lightning strikes? I put Kansas, but I think there's an argument to also be made that people in South Carolina might also need to be prepared. For lightning strikes. So for the last part of our lesson we will be predicting the weather near you. Here is a blank map. Can you find your state on it? If you need you can pause the video or you can um, open up a new screen to try to find where your state is. Right now as an example I'll use Colorado where I am. Then you can do this on your own with your own state after. Here's a star to represent where Colorado is. I'm going to look back at all three maps from the book and see if I can predict if any natural hazards might happen near me. Here is a map of the hurricanes. If I look closely, I can tell that here in Colorado, we are probably clear of hurricanes, which is really lucky. Now I'll take a minute and look at blizzards. It looks like there are blizzards all around the state. That means I can probably predict blizzards are likely to happen here again. Our last map shows lightning. With lightning, it seems to be that in Colorado it's less likely, but there are still some lightning strikes recorded. So I could predict that they will happen here, but they probably won't happen as many times as blizzards. Now it's time for you to try this with your own state. If you need to, you can try to imagine the star hovering over your state, but you can pause the video here. I want you to go back through the last three maps for hurricanes, blizzards, and lightning strikes and try to find your state in every single one. When you do that, can you figure out what natural hazards might happen near you? After you go back and figure that out, make sure you press play again so that we can continue to wrap up our lesson. Before closing, this is one important thing I want you to notice. This map shows each time a blizzard happened. It happened near the top of the map or in Alaska. Make sure you always pay attention to what's happening in both Alaska and Hawaii. As we said before, Alaska is not connected to the 48 states, but in fact, it's also at the top of the map, just farther to the left. So blizzards happened many times over and over again, so we know that it's a pattern. In the book, we looked at natural hazards that are part of weather, and we know that meteorologists can predict future weather when they find a pattern. 
Here's your key concept to take away with you today. There is a pattern to where different types of weather happen. Your lesson reflection for today has these questions to think about. You can always write, draw, or discuss your answer with someone near you. Pause here to complete these three questions and then you can go on to our last slide with a lesson challenge. First, before I move on, I'll read the questions for you. Hurricanes. What is one problem that hurricanes can cause? What might be a solution for this problem? What is one problem that blizzards can cause? And what might be a solution for this problem? And what is a problem that lightning can cause? And what is one solution for that problem? Now after you've paused and answered all three questions, we'll go to our lesson challenge. Knowing where natural hazards may happen means that we can prepare. Your second challenge before the next lesson is to think about this question. What are some ways you can prepare for the natural hazards that happen in your area? You have found what natural hazards may happen near you, so how can you prepare for them? You can always write your answer down, draw, talk to a person near you, whatever you think. All right, excellent job in lesson two. I will see you soon for lesson three.